This is the Business Leadership Series Minute with your host, the best-selling author of Don't Buy a Duck and founder of MarketingStrategyHero.com, Derek Champagne. I'm excited about our guest today. You know, we like to learn from people who have have had an incredible journey, and our guest today is Mike Giannoulis. Michael, welcome to the program. Hey, thank you. So glad to be here. You know, yes, our health, and it's a good reminder. And I, I have people around me. I had health care, health scare recently that ended up being okay, but it was just another reminder for me about the importance of balance in life. Uh, oftentimes, my good friend Dr. Stephen Graves talks about your scorecard, and if, if you got an A in three or four things, but you had an F in one area, your, your parents wouldn't say "great job." They would, they might, but then they go, "Hey, let's talk about that F too. Where can we improve?" And yep. sometimes, as entrepreneurs, we're so driven, and, and many of us out there, and, and we get blinders on, and, and we develop certain muscles and not others uh, in our life. And this, this, it's important to have a healthy balance. I do that by having accountability people around me to remind me, uh, and, and and you you had to learn as well, and so that's a continuous lesson I have to remember. I want to go to uh, what prompted you? I mean, a lot of us, if, if we've got extra weight on, it's, it's you know, a lot of people tend to withdraw and, and not want to be on a national TV show, especially for doing those kinds of things. What what prompted you and what gave you the motivation to, to say, I'm going to work this out on national television? You know, I, I think honestly, the answer, and I think this is the answer for the majority of people when they truly make change, it's just desperation reaching the end point saying I this is it I can't do it anymore you know I've often thought about and, and I've often even made fun of this some because we've all seen the sales pages and, and the things where people are gonna sell you you know whatever program which is what I do I, I help people sell their stuff but almost every time they just have a terrible story right it's just like I was broke I lost my home my wife left me all this this terrible stuff and I used to kind of, we, 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 all, we, we almost make fun of it because it's almost like, oh yeah, that's what they all say. But what I realized is I feel like the majority of people who make massive changes did so because they had no other choice. They were, their backs were against the wall. I mean, how many times have you heard that? My back was against the wall and I had to do something. And I, and I think that's the hardest part for people to change is they have to get their mindset to that point where... And I don't know yet if there's a way to trick yourself to think that way, but I I tend to think that um, complacency or contentment is really the enemy of achieving excellence. Yeah. You know, because you're kind of like, hey, things are okay, they're not that bad, so I can just kind of ride this out. And and that's where you've got to, if, if you want to, to make massive change, you have to really begin to internally focus on the pain because we're only driven by pain and pleasure, right? We wanna move away from pain, we wanna to move towards pleasure. Humans as a, as a species, of course, we're more geared to move away from pain because if we, remove, if we move away from pain, there's a guarantee that we won't have that pain. But when we move towards pleasure, there's no guarantee we'll uh, achieve it. So we've almost evolved in a, in a way that we wanna maximize our chances so that that's why pain is such a good thing to push us Derek Champagne here I want to connect with you if you're listening to the business leadership series we can connect on LinkedIn or send me a message at Derek at DerekChampagne.com I look forward to connecting